iOS and Mac users for quite a while now have been blessed with a feature called continuity. Continuity is the idea that all your devices are connected and you can use and share data from any device cross-platform seamlessly, whether it be your phone, computer, or tablet. iOS and Mac OS X has this feature built in. However, Android users and developers on Android have been requesting this feature for quite a while now from Google themselves. However, Google does not carry such a feature at, the, at this moment. So, I have for you today a replacement that does the same task and it's quite beautiful at it too. Push Bullet. Android continuity simplified and beautified. Once you start the app, you'll be asked to log in or sign up with your Google account or Facebook account. Then, after signing up, you'll be met with this screen which asks you to log into pushbullet.com and add it to your PC. When you open up the app, this is what you're met with. It's a starting screen with a plus on the bottom, which is very material design-esque, and it allows you to add a note, a link, photo or a file to any device that's linked to your Pushbullet account. If you slide in from the left, you are met with a settings panel. Right here, you can customize your notification sounds and change the settings that Pushbullet has to offer. You can turn on vibrations for Pushbullet notifications. You can enable universal copy and paste, which I would highly recommend as I'll show you what it does later on in the video. Furthermore, it allows you to show notifications on your PC from your Android devices. This is also a highly recommended feature. Only on Wi-Fi shouldn't be enabled on mobile devices as they do have LTE or 4G, 3G, whatever band you have. However, on tablets which are Wi-Fi only, I recommend you highlight this feature. The other features include choosing which apps have access to Pushbullet and sending a test notification as well. Sliding in from the right will open the Pushes panel. This allows you to see all your connected devices and everything that has been pushed to the device from yourself or other contacts. And if you scroll down further, it will show you the other contacts you have who are utilizing Pushbullet. So you could immediately send pushes to them as well. The tablet interface is a bit different. As you can see, your pushes are shown in on native screen resolution and by default. And if you slide in from the left, the settings opens up in a new card-like material-esque UI. And this is a free enhanced card which you can scroll. Moving on to the next phase is getting Pushbullet set up on your PC. Now to do this, go to pushbullet.com and this is the screen you will be greeted with. As you can see, you are offered to log in and connect with Google or Facebook as you did on your Android device. Furthermore, Pushbullet also offers links to all their other operating systems or browsers that they support. And if you click on one of them, it will take you directly to the extension, which you should immediately install if you want to set it up right away. Once installed, the extension, at least this is how it looks on Chrome, will be shown on the top right in your taskbar. Once you click on the push bullet icon, the push bullet panel opens up and you're met with the same settings you had and options enabled on your Android device. You could either push something to your devices, such as a note in this case. You can also push a link, which will directly pop up on the device, or you could send a file, which will be uploaded to the Pushbullet server and sent directly to the device. No more emailing by attaching attachments anymore. You can also send SMS straight from Pushbullet on your PC, utilizing your mobile device, which is SMS enabled. In this case, my Samsung Galaxy Note 4. Last but not least, the last panel is the notifications panel, which will show you notifications that have appeared on your other Android devices. If you click the settings panel, the little circular gear on the top right, you will open up the options, such as snooze notifications for an hour, 
the actual options which you can customize for the PC or you could sign out of Pushbullet. Clicking on the settings will open up these general settings which you can pause and watch. You could also switch to the notification settings. Again, if you want to take a look at them, please pause the video. And lastly, we have the advanced settings. Time to see Pushbullet in action. As you can see, I just got a notification which is a text message from my friend on my Samsung Galaxy Note 4. As you can see here, Pushbullet pops up. I click reply and I could reply to the message directly from my PC and its browser. No need to open up the app on my Note 4 and actually send it to him. This can help save critical battery life if needed and it's way more easier and more intuitive. As you can see, the reply was sent and it was quite easy to do so. Here, let's say I'm reading a pretty interesting article but for some reason I need to view it on another device. I can simply tap share, a new push, select which device I want to send it to, which is all connected to my push bullet account, send the push, and as you can see, boom! It's already loading by the time I look at my PC or other Android device. As you can see, pretty fast, easy, and intuitive. Here we are having it vice versa. I have an article that I'm viewing on my PC. It's pretty interesting. And for some reason I need to go somewhere. So I want to push it to one of my mobile devices such as my tablet or my Note 4. I push it and by the time I look at my Note 4, I already have the notification, tap it, and there we go. It's already opening up in the default browser. In this case, Google Chrome. It's pretty fast happens right away, no delay, and again, quite intuitive. Here is a demonstration of the same thing working on an Android to Android basis. You don't have to send pushes directly to your PC. Let's say my phone's about to die, so I want to transfer an article to my tablet. I don't want to lose the data. As you can see, notification, tap on it, and voila, here we have it loading up directly in the app it came from, and the exact article. Pretty easy, huh? Now here we have the universal copy-paste mentioned in the settings earlier in the video. As you can see, when I tap paste, this is what's currently on my clipboard. But I don't want that right now. In fact, I'm actually reading an article on my PC, and Let's just say some example text I want to be copied. I apologize for the shakiness, I'm using this one hand. I copied on my PC, and because of universal copy paste, all I have to do is paste it into my Android device, and voila! It's right from the PC. And it works across Android devices too. As you can see, I'm opening up my Google Keep, and as you can see, all I have to do, hold it and paste on my tablet and same result. Seamless. And now for the final example. Let's say I'm looking at a picture and I want to see it on the full screen. So I just tap share, push, select the device I want to push it to, my PC in this case, and boom. Push bullet will start uploading the file in the background to its servers. Just trying to get it down here. As you can see, it's uploading the file. And remember those days back when you had to go into Gmail, attach a picture, send it to yourself, go on the other device, log in, click the email, open the attachment, and finally view the thing, whichever you were trying to view in the first place. Those days are gone. Push bullet has just about finished uploading it to its server. Anytime now. I apologize for the wait. And boom! Opens up directly on my Chrome tab without doing anything. All I had to do was tap share picture and push it to my PC. Again, seamless and easy. Push bullet saves all your pushes that you have made so far 
in your panel when you open up the app. Now, these are all real time. So as you saw there, you could tap it and open up the push again, or you could simply flush them all out. It's been a great time, guys, showing you how to get continuity on your Android device. I'm Ish Patel from Ish Network, and uh, hope you enjoyed this video. Hopefully you find the app useful as this has now become one of the standard apps I use on a daily basis. Uh, and uh, until next time, I'll see you guys later. And uh, just a quick note, please comment, thumbs up, subscribe for more content on the way. Thank you.